glory to God in the highest. It's another powerful time to be with you again. I have a very glorious topic I need to share with you very quickly. The Lord dropped it in my spirit today. I need to share with you very, very important to every Christian all over the world. Amen. My topic says, get back what the enemy stole from you. Get it back. Don't play with it. You, you know that you have lost that thing. Or you are about losing it. Get it back. Just get it back. Hallelujah. Our test is taken from the book of Matthew 11, verse 12. I read for you. It says, And from the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. The violent take it by force. The kingdom of heaven permit violent. Violent Christians in prayer. Not physically by carrying machete or all those kind of stuff. Fighting, insulting, insulting people. Not that one. Spiritual violence. And you have to take it by force. What the enemy has stolen from you. You will have any before. No, it's no more there. Number one. The enemy can steal joy. The joy that you have. You are not happy again. The joy of salvation is lost. It is the enemy that has struck. The Bible says book Matthew chapter 13. Verse 24 and 25. He said, And Jesus Christ gave a parable to the end, that a sower went out to sow and went away, but while men slept, he came and stole. He came to steal the joy. He came to steal the peace. You know, he can steal joy. He can steal peace. The Bible spoke of Philippians. He said, And the peace of God that passeth all man's understanding shall be with you. So if the devil stole peace from you, every time your mind is not settled, I was in the presence of a, a, a man, you know, with, I went to do work in his hand, you know, and he was working, and all of a sudden he said, I lost my peace. I have checked around everywhere that my mind is beating. And there's nothing to do with me before, but there is no peace in my mind. What is happening to me? We began to tell him, you need to just pray, find time to pray. Other people began to give him advice because he lost his peace. The Bible spoke of Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10. He said, verse 10 b he said, the joy of the Lord God is my strength. So God has given you joy to smile. And the devil cannot take it from you. Amen. Number three things the devil can also steal from you is the devil can steal your marriage. Many people have left their marriage. They back out, some divorce, and some may be living together in the same room. The same room. But the, the husband and wife are no more married. And some pa can pack out. Take it by force. Do you know why you must take your marriage by force? Because don't say other oh, people divorce. Let me also divorce. There is a scar. If you divorce, there is a scar on you. Scar. Why you not take it by force? There is a scar. A scar means a mark. A mark on you. Now, for example, you divorce, went to marry and Rama, or you divorce, went to marry another woman. The man, the man will be facing another injustice from that very new woman you married. The woman will laugh at him and mock him, say you are the problem of the marriage. That was why you divorced. This is your problem. That was why you first of all divorced your first marriage. Now you came to meet me and knew that it's a saint. In a day, it's a scar. You will point to that error that you are the one that is the problem. Then the, 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 the woman will also be facing problem. The man will say you are the problem. You are the problem. That's why you divorced. You see yourself then you divorced. That's you are the problem. I'm not the problem. I'm just fresh in marriage. You see, that is why you must, you must systematically get it by force. That thing the devil stole away from you. You must not allow it to steal your marriage. You must not allow it to steal your peace. You must not allow it to steal your joy. If you check around you, things are getting worse. My friend, declare prayer. Declare, after prayer, this, declare settlement. Don't be too proud to, to, to learn, to ask for settlement. Don't look at your friends that are facing their voice. Don't look at your friends that have lost their marriage. And say, okay, I, I, let me see, join them. Don't join them. This is car. We know that every one of us has flaws. I have flaws. You have flaws. But l by taking it by force again, you know that flaws will be overlooked by going back to take it by force. Our top is to remain. Get back what the enemy stole from you. The enemy can steal your joy. You are no more happy. Check around yourself. What causes it? You, are, you don't have peace of mind again. Check it. Then the other one, he has stolen your marriage from you. You are about divorce. You are divorced already. Get it back. Settle with your wife. Settle with your husband. We are going nowhere. I will for. 
We are going nowhere. I cannot carry my scar to anywhere. We do it with the old age. We are going nowhere. Any day the want to, devil wants to come again, quit the devil by prayer and by setting it amicably with your spouse. Don't join the numbers of saying it is good to do it. No. No matter who have done it, I prove righteousness. God, the Bible says in Balakai, go hate that voice. Fight it. Fight for your life. Fight for your peace. Get it back. If you hear me say amen. The fourth thing the devil can steal from you is your business. You are doing business and the time to go to business and the time to go do God's work, there are two things. You have your business and don't become poor because you are like, you are, you are like a church rat. There are days for church. There are days for business. And so you must mark these things down. Don't let your business crumble because of church service, because of church work. Hold it to it. There is a time for everything. Are you hearing me now? Then your attitude to people when you are welcoming them or receiving them in your business, look at your attitude when people are leaving your business. Then fight it out and claim it back. Claim it back. The way you need to apologize, say, I'm sorry. Tell them. Don't be too proud to tell people you are sorry concerning your business. Even David said Psalm 38 verse 18. He said, I will declare my iniquities. I will be sorry for my sin. David said it. I'll be sorry for my sin. Amen. So, devil can steal your business. And number 15 here, I put here, you know, it is numerous. Is the devil can steal your prayer life. Don't allow the devil get your prayer life. If you get your prayer life, you are finished. Because as you are in prayer dunamis, you are, God is relying on you that there are battles that are being fought with your prayers. If you don't pray, God will use another person else because you are no more prayerful. When you are prayerful, God will look it with his ego eyes, searching who are prayerful. He will not carry the face of that person and go and use to answer prayer. That's why in people's dream, people fight and they, they say, Pastor, you know, say, I saw your face in my dream. You came to help me when I was, the people were fighting with me. You came to save me. That was not me. Jesus Christ saw my prayer life. He entered, he used my face and went to save that person. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? So he can use his brick angels and use my face and go and heal somebody. He can use your face to go and take to go and tackle problem. Are you hearing me, somebody? Our top is man. Get back what the enemy stole from you. Get it back. If you hear me, see me. Joel chapter 2, verse 25. He said, And I will restore all the years that the palm are won, the cock are won, that have taken from you. The devil is a palm and one. The devil is a cock and one. He will eat years. Does he eat days? Does he eat minutes? Does he eat seconds? Does he eat months? He eat years. You want to waste people's years. You want to waste people's years and make their life, you know, no, no, no talent. But I pray as I come to you tonight that you get to get it back. Bible spoke of John chapter 10, verse 10. He said, For the thief come to steal, to kill and destroy. You want to destroy your life? Get it back. Those things is stolen away from your life. Get it back. You cannot steal your joy, you cannot steal your peace at all. Luke chapter 18, verse 1. He said, Jesus Christ spake a parable to this end. That men ought always to pray and not to faint. We are not fainting. We will get it back in prayer. But like a bodo, we are getting it back. What the enemy stole away from your hands. The team come to steal. He came to, to kill and destroy. We will not permit him. We are getting it back. We will get it back right now. We will get it back right now. We will get it back right now. La proko do kiba zegazia satalaba teni kiskanza. I get it back. La boto. Our topic has been get back what the devil stole from you. Get it back. What the devil has stolen away from you. You have to get it back. Now one of the ways to get it back is number one. Don't pretend that there's no problem. Solve the problem you have we have enumerated tonight. Handle it. Amen. Number two. Take drastic action in the way you should handle it. Hallelujah. Take drastic action and God will help you and back you up. So far you want to, you have going there to take it by force. Don't allow the devil steal anything that belongs to you and it say where they are stolen away from you. Get it back by prayers. Get it back by force in the name of Jesus. Be persistent. Don't pretend. Be realistic. Be realistic. Take drastic action. Don't pretend. Be realistic. Be persistent. Be persistent. You will get it back.
So how do you take it? You have to know that wherever the devil has hijacked your prayer life, get it back. Get it back. Because God is counting on you to use your prayer life and you are recognized in heaven that God has raised you to be, to be a man of prayer or a woman of prayer. Labro Koskuri Matata. We are going to pray now. Begin to pray. You have seen some keys I need for you. Is your joy hijacked? Your marriage hijacked? Your prayer life hijacked? Or peace hijacked? Fire prayer. He said the kingdom of heaven suffered violent. The violent one taken by force. Matthew 13, verse 24 to the verse. Where men slept, the devil came and, and, and stole something. Labro Kotori Batata. I get my prayer life back. I get my prayer life back. I get my prayer life back. Life back. In the name of Jesus. The way to get your prayer life back is by praying. Pray for your marriage. Pray for peace in your life. Pray for joy. Have you, have you seen and that sin has taken away your joy? Taken away your peace? It is better to repent now. Repent now and solve it out with God. I get it back. I get my prayer life back. I get my joy back. Joy of the Lord God is my strength. I get my peace back. Whatever I've seen against God. I pray, Daddy, I reconcile myself back to you tonight. Forgive my trespasses. I want peace. Begin to let those things devil stay away from you. And you must be persistent. You must be realistic. Don't pretend about it. Settle with your spouse, your wife, you know, your, your, your husband. Settle with them now. Do I you need to steal your marriage or the advance your marriage? Don't neglect it. Handle it. Fight it out so that you can fight against that, those scars that they want to put in your life as needs. To say, you know, see, I'm that you did, and you be the problem. You are not the problem. The devil is the problem. Get it back now. Whatever I'm still away from you, whatever, whatever I'm still away from your hand. Get it back. I take it back. I take my peace back. I take my joy back. I take my marriage back. I take my business back. La I get my business back. Borakrabasko prokoso. My devil has stolen away from my business. Let be restored. My business be restored. Peace of mind be restored. Joy be restored. My marriage be restored. My prayer life be restored right now. In the name of Jesus. Raproski brahuda. Rendelbotana prokese. Kasititi la talada. Kwandelbotana peria. Kesetetele le kobo. Brandalbatana toribo. Kasititi la kelebodo. Prongotelbotana ketese. Kasititi la talada. Bienimodalbatana tete. Kasiketele kuribo. Palibolbatana ketese. Get it back right now. Fight for your life. Fight for your life. Fight for your marriage. Fight for peace. Fight for joy. La poro konimada. Se telebodan na kete. There is something God cannot handle. Branda matorotos. You know your flaws. You know your flaws. Your flaws are those things your husband complain about. You know, handle it now, woman. Handle it now, woman. Husbands, you know your flaws. You know your flaws. Your flaws are what your wife complain about. Handle it now. And God will help you. And God will help you. And God will help you. Take the kingdom by violence. Take it by violence in prayer. Take it back. I said, devil, you are a failure. I get my marriage back. I get my peace of mind back. I get my joy back. In any way I sin against God that I'm taking away my joy. I reconcile myself back to God right now. In the name of Jesus. I will no more go back to sin again. I will walk righteously. Because of God. Kingdom of heaven suffered so violence. Valeman took it by force. La tete lokoto. Brangala ba take it easy. Alla tata la tete. Kali kata la tata. Kelebo um. Philippians 4, verse 6 and 7. He said, Be careful for nothing. But in everything by prayer, supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made unto the God. Verse 7. He said, And the peace of God that passes all my understanding shall be your portion. Receive your peace back. Receive your joy back. Receive your marriage back. Receive your deliverance back. Receive your business back. Receive your prayer life back right now. In the name of Jesus. Ratadabodo. Rintelvatan na terekese. Kasu kasa baloa. Rintelvatan na kese. Kasi tisi alada. Kualaba terekese. Allah tatam. Our topic has been. Get back what that enemy stole from you. Get it back. 
Maraparo Kotoriaza. Don't laugh over it. It's a serious matter. Bari Botoro Kotiaza. It is one depends on how you are getting your salvation back. The devil tried to steal away from you. The Bible says, Confess John 3, verse 8. It says, Whoever committed sin to the devil, there was never from the beginning. Latter. For this purpose, I, innocent Jesse, was manifested to the soil. What was the devil? Destroy it now. Destroy those devils. Destroy those character. So don't wake up that walk of darkness. That, that fight against your, your, your life. Fight against your mother. Now, 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 how do you? 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 Attack him. Fire. 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 Logodo. 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 Laba. Laba. We get it back. Elijah said they can't escape. They can't escape. And all the prophets of power were destroyed. In La Tata Logodo. Prandalaba to his case. Receive it now. The joy of salvation. Peace of joy in your mind. Everything about you is not correct. You must take it by force. Don't allow the devil to take it and you are smiling about it. No. Get open, open your right eye in prayer for him and take it back. Yeah. We get it back. Yeah. We take it back. Peace, joy, blessing, favor, business, brakaboko to break to prayer life, rabaro, marriage. We take it back. We take it back. We take it back. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.